Hi, my name is Anastasia and I'm a Chicago-based artist and today I'm going to show you how I screen print in my apartment. First in a dark room I coat both sides of my screen with emulsion and, I, and then I let it dry overnight in this little dark room I made with the cardboard box and then I take my film that I got printed at Staples and expose the screen. Um, this is based on what kind of lighting unit you have. For me it's like 3 minutes and 30 seconds. After you expose the screen, you have to wash out the screen with warm water. And for this round of printing, my image didn't really come out the way I expected because I think my emulsion was going bad. But with screen printing at home, honestly, it's a trial and error process. And because of that, I started doing test prints like this one. I treated myself to a little printing press, but I don't really think that's necessary. You could screen print on the ground or use like a board or table clamps to screen print. After I screen print, I let my shirt dry. I let it air dry for like a day or so and then I flip it inside out and I'll iron it just to heat press it. I really enjoy screen printing because it's a different way of me using my hands, if that makes sense, since I'm so used to drawing. Also with screen printing, even though you're using the same image, each shirt is going to come out a little different because of the amount of pressure you put on it i feel and i also i'll go to the thrift store and get shirts um and then i'll wash them and make sure they look nice and then print on them and i i think that's really cool because each shirt is like its own separate unique piece because it's a different shirt and you probably never find the same kind of shirt. When I screen print, I make sure to go over the image a couple of times um, just to make sure it comes out the way I like it. I try to make sure I put the right amount of pressure on each go because sometimes I'll do it too light and mess up. I've been combining screen printing and drawing to make like one of one shirts. Another method of screen printing is using drawing fluid and like um, screen filler. I haven't personally tried it. Someone named Morgan um, commented it on my TikTok and they explained it to me and I really want to try that method so I might make a video about it whenever I try it. I just thought it was cool in case you don't want to use emulsion and have to wash out your screen in your sink at home. If you're screen printing at home, I recommend like documenting the process or taking notes of things that you learned because it took me a while to figure out what exposing time worked for my screens. And when my shirts don't come out the way I expect, did them too like if the image didn't come out all the way I'll go back in with fabric markers and I'll fill in the rest of the details or any mistakes and um, for this specific set of shirts I also drew on the back of them because I just felt like something was missing This is how I screen print without a press. I'll get my 18 by 24 like drawing board and I'll put the shirt over it and then just put my screen over it and go on top of it with like my knees, just hold it down. But you could also use like table clamps or you could have a friend hold the screen down for you because doing it this way, it will eventually like hurt your back. And I'm using this method to print my logo on the inside of the shirts because I just feel like that's a nice touch. With these, with this specific design, this like magical woman that I drew, I went in it with the intention of printing it on the shirt and then I'll draw more stuff around it. Also, if you're printing with the press, you could use um, Super Tack, which is like this liquid that will make the shirt stick to your press. But I used too much of it and it made like a gummy substance on the back of my shirt. I would be cautious using it or maybe water it down a bit if you choose to use it. Also, if you can't screen print in your home, um, I would look into screen printing studios in your area. Sometimes they have memberships or like classes where you could use their studios. I'll cut up like pieces of cardboard into squares to use them to help clean up my screen and to remove any ink off my screen to put it back into containers just to save ink. 
For when I draw on shirts, I, I like to use a washable Crayola marker to do a sketch and then I'll go back in with fabric paint and, um, well, Arteza fabric paint and fabric markers. My Billionaire's Shouldn't Exist shirt, I feel like that print came out the best because I used my 230 screen which has a high thread count which works better for more like detailed images. When I was making this specific shirt design, I was just really frustrated with how like powerless I felt like just being one person and I don't have really the money or power to, to make any significant change in the world and so I just, I don't know, I was thinking about billionaires and how much power they have and how much good they could do with the money they have and they choose not to but also they're in a system that doesn't really make them do anything good if they don't want to. So that mixture of hopelessness and existential dread led to this shirt design. And if you're like me and you screen print in your home, let me know what kind of methods you use or comment any tips you have. Because it's always nice to learn from other printers because I'm not necessarily an expert myself. After I'm done printing, I make sure to take the tape off my screen and rinse my screen out with water and screen degreaser. This is how my shirts came out. Check them out if you're interested.